is it? The Kosh Shrine. I don't know what Kai found there, but I know it's our turn to discover some awesome stuff. I don't know, Drake. Are you really sure we should be here without permission? If anyone finds out we came here, we'll be in a lot of trouble. It's gonna be fine. We'll just be right in and right back out once we discover something amazing in there and fight some monsters. Okay, but we won't stay long. Got it? I still want to speak with the Professor Sephira, and she could return any minute. I'll only be there five minutes tops, I swear! Come on already, let's go! Retro, oh my god. It's called Shrine? It's so worn down and broken. Even the walls are crumbling. Where's Professor Sephira? This place has been here for hundreds of years. It doesn't surprise me that it's falling apart. Especially with all the snow, it's bound to wear down the building. I should really get somebody to do some repairs around here. There's giant holes in the wall! We should get right on that, Drake. Come on, let's look around. Let's just look around already. Hell, uh, what was that? I don't know. It sounded like something shouting out. Get back! Help! Someone help! Oh, it sounds kind of like Professor Sephira. Help me! It's Professor Sephira. She's in trouble. Come on, let's go save her. It sounds like it's coming for that giant hole in the wall. Let's get over there quick. You enter to the hole. Help! Anyone help? Professor Sephira? Come on, Rover. We have to go help her. Drake and Rover, is that you? I don't know what you're doing here, but thank you for showing up. I'm pinned to the wall. Distract the monsters so I have enough time to break away and finish them. All right, let's go, Drake. Oh, hey, it's Queen. Hey, Queen, how you doing? What is that? Mo oh, my God. No! No one say a word! No one say a goddamn word! Seriously! I thought I would I wasn't gonna bring it up this time! God damn it. I like getting new things. It's a chance. The monster can get by me without a fight. I wasn't expecting the two of you to be the monsters on your own. I must say I'm pleasantly surprised. You're probably a little roughed up after the battle. It couldn't have been easy. Here, take these as thanks for me. A greater potion for Drake, for taking a lot of hits, and a skill plus, either plus for Rover, so you can always use your skills when needed. Thank you, Professor, but what happened? That's a great question, Rover. As soon as you both saved me, I suppose I owe you an answer. After posting the scores for the field test, I needed to gather some stuff for the future. Leo with God, you know what? Fine. My cat pooped on me. <laughs> or well, I, more importantly, it got poop on me. I sat down for my stream. I was ready to go. After I had cuddled with him for a little bit, he sat on my lap and I petted him for a little bit before stream. I got up. I sat down. I was ready to go. Hand on my thigh. I feel something that feels like a leaf. I look at it. Weird, okay. And then... It doesn't quite look like a leaf. I give it a quick snip, it's poop. I touched cat poop. <laughs> it was disgusting. So I couldn't be threw it away. Well, I, it, if it was a if it was a leaf, I mean, come on. Okay, leaf, okay, whatever. They're all over the place. And then I had to go change my pants and wash up. Yeah, I, I, I meet. I washed my hands first, then I changed my pants. Yes, it was a piece of dried poop. It was flat, little piece of dried poop. That's why it looked like a leaf. It was like a mix of hair, and it just it was it was absolutely disgusting. I think maybe he ate some of the plants around the house, and yeah. In case it was poop, <laughs> because if it was a leaf, it would have been fine. Okay, no need to stop. No need to stop the stream and go wash my hands. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't! It was not a leaf! <laughs> it was dark! Do you have any idea how hard it is to see things with this lighting? And I wasn't gonna hold it up to the camera, because nobody wants to see poop! Because that's how you can tell if it's poop! <laughs> no, Leo does not go outside, but we do have plants. And sometimes they do get to the plants, even though we have them in a room they're not supposed to go into, so... <sighs> Jesus Christ. We're detracting from the game. We need to focus on the game. <laughs> you both save me. I suppose I owe you an answer. I suppose I owe you an answer for the future. 
<sighs> the cost shrine. I noticed the... Okay, I'll be perfectly honest. There's not that much poop as people say. I have one poop story about my kid. That's it. And it was when uh, my wife's sister was changing his, their diaper. And they projectile pooped across the room. Like, pew, right on the wall. <laughs> like, it got like a good 10 feet. It would just... And the, my wife's sister screamed because she was not expecting that. <laughs> yeah, queen, you would too! If you couldn't see what it was! <laughs> it gets better and better. Ew, retro, ew. <laughs> Hated the pot because it didn't flush. <laughs> nice. <sighs> I do have one slightly embarrassing story about my kid. Every time when we were when we were potty training them, every time they went to the bathroom, just out of the out of the bathroom, just this sing songy little voice. Mom Come wipe my butt! Because they were still learning. It was... <laughs> it was... It was... It's a cute story, though. <laughs> That's as far as I'm gonna go. Oh, it's... It's a harmless little story. <laughs> Where your kid on... That's on your server. <laughs> Well, how was I supposed to know what it was? Like, if I had touched poop and not realized it, I'd have poop hands everywhere. It was this hand. So, I was scared. So much cracked the wall. My gut told me to come in here. That's when I was ambushed with the monsters. I was pinned, unable to fight back. I have an eye for you. Sister, thanks for your help. I remember this for the future. However, it does beg the question. Why are you here? Oh, this is getting a VOD. So I've immortalized my son's or my child's little uh, <laughs> sing singing. <laughs> hey, Mary. Uh, well, we kind of came here to explore the place on our own. Well, I certainly did give you two permission to go here yourselves. I didn't really need to bet that, bet that neither did Professor Joe. That'd only mean one thing then, wouldn't it? We came here without permission. You came here without permission. That's exactly right, and look what happened. Think of what could have happened. We have rules in place for reasons. Normally, you two would be in big trouble. But... But you two did save me from those monsters. I suppose I can let you off with a verbal warning this time. Listen well, Rover, Drake. Do not go anywhere without permission again. Understood? Oh, well, folks home. <laughs> Kia. Yeah. This is the extra credit, Professor, so maybe just because she doesn't want to screw either of them. Understood, Professor. Heard you. Good. Now, Rover, I still wish to speak with you. Drake, you may come as well. I'm sure what I have to tell you be in would be interesting to you. You must get out of here first, though. Not even the good one. Well, so play like, yeah, go check out this VOG from Hawk. <laughs> Queen, no! Oh <laughs> Beachy. No, the, that was the joke for that's why the that's how the teacher gave out extra credit. So the one guy got 105 on the out of 100 on the test. Don't break your hip. Hey, my hips are fine. As I. stomach. Maybe you get a chance to explore the place. Let us stay a little longer. No, and no more unsanctioned visits to places. I'll let you off this time, but next time you, will, you won't go unpunished. Now let's go. Pretty much, Sivvy. Pretty much. I mean, that's just how I, that's how I roll. It's not a baby bump! I mean... Yeah, that's not flattering. <sighs> yes, I I'm not sucking it in! <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, you keep on, I'm gonna show the calves. <laughs> this just got I don't think we may fare much better ourselves. Okay, of course. Fine, I guess I won't get to explore the place for a second time. Let's go. <sighs> what did you breathe? I uh, can't buy. See? See, I'm breathing. You know what? It's like Google Doc has. I'm. Oh. I am ready to take Hank to the wall. See, me, but you've kept wait. I've kept you waiting long enough. However, do you remember what I wanted to speak with you about? Well, yeah, I do with the jellyfish monster we found in the igloo cavern, right? God. Found the dark calves. You know more about the big old jellyfish thing? Go on, tell us. Can I get that Funko? Well, what Funko Pop though? Calm down, Drake. Yes, I have seen them before. I assumed all the jellyfish had migrated away from this area, but when you told me about that purple stuff, I was afraid they came. They came back. <laughs> From He-Man? Yes. What do you know about the professor? And if somebody buys Hank a trap jaw Funko, that is highly offensive. <laughs> He would be getting a Darkwing Duck, if they had one. Some time ago, I explored the Igloo Cavern. Deep inside, I found a nest filled with purple jelly and a multitude of jellyfish. One of them was different. One of them was the leader. Like a fool, I attempted to attack it. I used my elements against it. You're aware the jellyfish absorb the lightning element, yes? However, they should still be hit by other elements. Or so I thought. Inky Skink, thank you very much for that follow. I appreciate it. Welcome to the Realm of the Feathered Dead. I mean, those are two trap giants. I mean, they didn't work. Correct. Every element I tried did nothing. It was immune to all of my attacks. Even when I attempt to attack it physically, it phased right through it. The monster was truly invincible. Squishmallow now. The monster had ignored my presence until then, but soon it started to attack. I nearly died from the pure skill of that je je jellyfish. I would have if I hadn't run away from that place. I mean, does the monster even give you a hard time? That's scary. Hey, Demon King, how you doing? Yes, it was. Why are you telling us this, Professor? So you're aware of tough monsters out there. There's no denying that eventually you will take a beating in battle. No matter how strong you think you are, you'll get hurt. Be sure to remember your decisive skills. When you take a beating, you might be able to change the tide of battle in your favor. It might just save your life. Thank you, Professor. I'll keep this your story in mind. I'll for you. I mean, you're not wrong, Meowsticks. I thought you'd tell us how to give, uh, how you beat up some fearsome monster and give us tips on how to get stronger. And that's why I originally asked only Rover to come speak with me. Let's not forget you were only here because the two of you decided to explore a place you were not allowed to. Um, yeah, oops. <laughs> I have something for you, Rover. With this, you can use a decisive- Oh, she gave me a shield. I never equipped it. Save with ease. You're the leader of this group, so I'll trust you to use it correctly. She's got a defensive skill. She's going to be used again. No more exists. Are we well right, right? Nice try, Drake, but thank you for reminding me. I have to lock up the doors of the shrine so that no one else can go in there unsanctioned. It's simply too dangerous in there. I'll never have it get a chance to explore it. Not with that attitude. Now I want the both of you to make to enjoy the rest of your off day. Make sure you have fun and relax, because the real work will begin tomorrow. We will, Professor, thank you. Fine. Okay, so I gotta teach him to decide and I never in, in equipped that shield. Or we were to sleep at a reasonable hour. Well, Drake was up complaining for hours, contemplating for hours. Neither of them had any idea what that what occurred the next day would change their lives. And we find out why Drake has a mother who had him when she was 11. It's really quiet. I guess everyone's going back to their routines after their off day. I should get a move on as well. I don't want to be late today. Yeah, I didn't. I'm an idiot. A 1% evasion. Oh my god. Save. Rover, 
Parker! Hey, Marco, what are you up to? There's no time for that. What are you doing here, Robert? Get to town hall! Weren't you supposed to meet at school for class today? What's going on? You don't know. Drake ran away! Drake did what? He ran away! I just told you! A lot of people are over to town hall right now. I'm going there too, so come on! I, I can't believe Drake would run off like that. Chris is in there. I don't think he's doing so well. I want to go comfort him, but I can't. I just don't know what to say to him. I'm so worried. Enjoy my 14. No. Sivvy, no! Rover! Miss Nerud, please tell me what happened. Tell me what happened, please. I will, Rover. From what I've gathered, Drake ran off towards the Kosh Shrine early this morning. Sometime afterwards, Sephir went there to lock to, to go lock the doors. Not long after that, Joe came rushing in here asking where Drake went. When I didn't have an answer for him, Joe took off running. I haven't seen any of them since. I assume they're all at the shrine. I have to go after him. I can't just stand here and do nothing. Please, I have to go there. I can't let anything bad happen. All right, Rover, but you're not going alone. Take some of the other students with you. As soon as you find either Professor Saffer or Professor Joe, you do exactly what they say, all right? I will. Thank you, Miss Nerud. And Rover, good luck. Okay, who am I taking with me? Uh, Kiki, sure. Dear, I, I never even got to tell him about our trip yesterday. I haven't even seen him since the field tests. Why would he run off like this? Writing point could be a thing. <laughs> Square state naming. <laughs> so, uh, I think we're not there. Are we? We're just gonna lock the doors. I think that pushed Drake into it. You coming, Kiki? Oh, I never had a chance to tell you. I hurt myself pretty bad yesterday in Kosh Shrine. I joined you instant, but right now all I want to do is all we do is slow you down. Oh. There's only you survived on it, so I'd have to go after him. Just make sure he's alright. We'll bring him back. Rover, promise you'll come back too. Drake, you, please. We're going for your safe return. So safe and sound, okay. So, I need a uh, physical guy. So, you know, At least you could have done a sneak off with you. At least you could have done a sneak off with you, Rover, like yesterday. I know, I'm worried too. I'm going there to find him as soon as I get enough people. I'm coming, not a question. I'm coming with you. Dad already ran ahead. Now it's my turn. We're going to save him. Yes, we'll save Drake. We must. Okay, Chris has joined. Let's take Smarty Pants. Oh, there you are. As sure as you know, Drake has run off. I'm getting the cross sign the most. As soon as you take me along, it'd help you out. I'll be a valuable asset. All right, you're coming. Let's go. That was quick. Don't be so hasty, Rover. You have to think about all your options before you commit to something. That's probably being a good leader, but I guess I said, let's go. Okay, let's go. Um, how many can I take? Can I take one more? May as well. You're not leaving without me. I'm coming with you. <laughs> let's just force ourselves into the party. <laughs> okay, let's go. Karen Mick, that bitch. Oh wait, I should see if there's uh, items for me. Dad, I need stuff. Oh, great, Dad, you don't actually give it to me, you sell it to me, wow. And I'll get all those, because I think those are gonna be very important. I don't know, actually, that's a good question. Can you, Mel? Can you go with uh, with less than four? Yeah, he's got a shop to run. Forget the kids. That cat again, what? What? I feel like there's something... Huh. Okay, where do we go? Well, if we head straight from here, we'll cut a room with a fork in the road. Now, when we came here the first time, when the passwords are blocked off, so I assume it's still... Just tell me where we're going. Head straight, then make a left. Thank you, let's go. I feel I should share my very detailed and accurate notes about the monsters here that I took previously for the... Just hand them over, then! So there. So does Hawk, it seems. Cast a self insert. Oh, excuse me. Splish splash, I was taking a bath. Hmm, great, we got their eyes. 
That's a really horrific thing to loot off a monster. It's fucking eye. Because you gotta scoop that shit out. Ah, nice. Item in the rock. I'm not gonna hit it with... Oh, she attacks. Nice. Use to open doors. Bring a spoon! <laughs> I should make an RPG where the, the adventurous kid includes a melon baller. And they just don't explain it. But you soon learn why you need it. Okay, so there's a couple of stairs down, but I don't think I can go anywhere other than the one that we saw. Yeah, okay. Professor Sephra. Oh, she's completely knocked out. How did that happen? I thought she was a professional. Well, it's clear that the monster's got her. I know that she has much experience of, has much more experience than us, but is it possible that a rather tough monster found its way here and managed to beat her? That is, of course... Just shut up, Kai. You don't have time for your damn rambling. Do we have a life drink? We can restore her with that. I have one. Here, use it. Thanks. I should get her up in no time. Oh, Jesus. What kind of game is that? I don't understand that. Oh, no, no, oh, I understand, but I, I never heard of that. I think. Uh, uh, it's working. Chris, Rover, Kai and Lysis, what are you all doing here? We came looking for Drake. Right, of course you are. Well, I'm glad you're all here, and you really saved me. Mr. Sephiroth, what happened? Where's Drake? I came here this morning to lock this place up like I was going to. Like I said I was going to. That's when Joe came running up at full speed, shouting me to get out of the way. He nearly ran me over. He was shouting that he was looking for Drake, and he knew he was in here. I assumed it's well, considering what happened yesterday. I followed him, but Joe was too fast. I lost him. That's when monsters ambushed me. Psych horror, huh? One twin time travels. I'd have to run, but there was too many. And that's the last thing I remember until you all got here. I take it Drake is still further inside. Professor Sever got knocked out, then that can't be good news for Drake. We have to hurry and find him right now. Professor, are you feeling okay? I'll be fine. I just need some time to rest. I have faith in you for. Please go forward and rescue Drake. You have my permission. <laughs> Attacked. Understood, Professor. We won't let you down. This guy feels to take a study break. Study break. Stop wasting time. Whoops. Haha, <laughs> never mind. We ain't learning shit. Sweet stuff. Okay, stairs lady up. I don't know what that is. Oh, where that takes us, okay. Overwatered? <laughs> they get overwatered and die. Uh, no, he doesn't look like he ever sleeps. That man has the darkest of shadows under his eyes. Peachy. God. Hmm. There's gotta be a point where I can come back and break those cracks, right? I don't know. Here. Okay, there we go. Field conversation number two. Siblings, Rover and Kai and Lexus and Chris. The end of the area is right through that door up there. If we haven't seen Drake yet, he's likely to be in there. All right, let's go save him. You okay, Chris? I can't imagine this being easy for you. Drake's your brother and all. 
Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks for worrying, Rover. Greg will be okay. He's always done things like this. I remember back a few years ago, he went off, off to school on an off day to do training. But nobody knew where he was. We didn't think he would head to school. We searched all over town. Dad and Professor Sefer searched the dangerous places. We never found him. It wasn't until that evening when Mom was going crazy when he just walks back into town like nothing happened. <laughs> Man, Dad was mad. Drake was in trouble for weeks. Yeah, Drake's just annoying sometimes, although always running off. But he's fine. He's strong and tough, and I trust him. And if he's not, that's why I'm here to kick anyone's ass who wants to hurt him. Wow, you and Drake get along pretty well. If I'm not butting heads with Lacey, we're just aren't we just aren't speaking with each other. We have nowhere near the connection you two do. I'll admit I don't really think I don't really talk to Lexus or Lacey that much. I'm always absorbed in my studies. I care about them, but they've always been safe, so I never have to worry. To show that we're all, all our siblings are different. Do you know how you're raised and what happens when you're growing up? I never really thought much about it, to be honest. I said interesting too. <laughs> don't murder your roommates. That's good advice, though, Sivvy. Just off, just general. I'm an only child. <laughs> I should save. Drink some head. Let's go. Drink, you're here. Oh, glad to see you made it as well. Just in time to kid these guys' asses. Oh great, more pathetic kids were cute to slaughter. Today's going great, I have to say. <laughs> I love this. I can't believe I thought it was going to be a terrible day. Boy, was I wrong. Everyone, get out of here now. Get back to Chill Hour and never return to this place. I'm not leaving, Dad. These people think they can just walk in here and disrespect my home? I'll beat up all... Wait. That's his dad, who's 39, and his mother is 30. 11 and 19. They're 11 and 20. I... What is going on? Just want you to disrespect my home? We'd all know for even thinking of coming here messing with this place. Here we rescue Drake. He's not leaving, then neither am I. If we have to put up fight to get out of here, then we have to fight. That's cute. The little kids want to fight me and Q. Ha ha ha. It just to the old man over there run while you still can. At least attempt to. It's all it's already too late to run. So sorry. I'll distract them. Just run. Run, damn it! I'm not running! Who are these people? The big stone structure in the back is still there. What is that guy doing to it? Oh don't mind what Eli's doing. It's of no concern to you. You'll be dead to it anyway, so really, there's no reason to know. I guess that means I could tell you. Nah, where's the fun in that? These losers are really starting to get annoying. Can we just kick their asses already? Are oh, they for good ass kicking? Nobody messes with my little bro and gets away with it. Yeah, I hope you're all ready to fight. There's no way you're gonna beat us. You ready still wanna fight them? You all die, I'm telling you. Run home and tell Severn to shut this place down. Run, run, damn it! You guys wanna fight? That's fine by me. Q, I hope you've been ready to get a bath. Cause you're gonna be covered with blood soon. Ha ha ha! That's pretty clever if I say so myself. Wait. Ah, oh, this better be good. If you stop queuing me for something dumb, you'll be next target, Eli. What is it? The monument is charged. It lit up? You just call it a monument? Well, that's good news. That means we can get out of this pathetic place. Looks like it's your lucky day, little kids. You're not gonna die a slow, painful death at all. Ha <laughs> ha! It's gonna be pretty quick. Q, kill them all. Bring it on! You've got to be kidding me. Eli, what's going on? Well, with your non-stop, constant, unending blabbering about murdering people, I couldn't concentrate as well and ended up overcharging it. It has to let loose some of that power, thus the quakes. Oh, I get it. You mess everything up and then you blame me for it? Look at you, Mr. Perfect. Can't do anything wrong, I guess. No wonder Mr. Boss adores you so much. You just blame others. <laughs> Quit your constant excuses. It is your fault we're in this mess. Regardless, just leave right now. This place will likely collapse from the quakes, and even after your little cue, and not even your little cue can survive that. You're joking, right? Ah, fine, we'll leave. But you cue something big, all right? Looks like you idiots don't get to die by cue. Rather, you'll just get crutched to death. Ha <laughs> ha! See you never. Like I said, this is bad. We have to get out of here. I'm not dying here. Monument. I lit up. Just what did that Eli guy do? I can't die without knowing. Damn it, it can't end like this. We've been playing for two hours. We're just now at the title screen.
Also, what font is that? Where, where am I? Drake, Chris, are you around here? Kai, Lexus, Professor. I think it's here. Where am I? I've never seen so much water around. It's so warm. I feel anything like Chilvara, Chilriva. If it's not, then where and how? It's night. The temperature's dropping. At least I have some more clothes on already. We were all in the cost shrine. Those people, they lit up the monument, whatever that means. And they just vanished, like they teleported away. The place is crumbling down, and Professor Joe screamed out, then I was here. Did, did we all teleport away as well? Is, is that why I'm here? This is unfinished. It's a 16-hour demo. How did they get to Chill River? Maybe it's the same way I ended up here. Wherever I am, there's no way I'm still at home. It's too warm to be home. Uh, what is that monument they called it? It's the same thing Kai found. Well, what is it? It's importance. Is it even important? I don't know. I'll have to get help soon. I, can, I can't survive here longer. I'm starving. I need water. Drinkable water. I need to serve all my energy right now. Hopefully someone will come soon. Anyone, please, anyone come by. Ooh. This is it. Can't watch longer. Kiki, I'm sorry I couldn't keep my promise. Drake, I'm sorry I couldn't protect you. I'm sorry, everyone. I'll let you down. Like, I mean, there's nothing wrong with the length of your game. But this is not a demo. I mean, you could call it early access if you want to. But saying this is a demo is not really doing well for it. And this is why people, like me personally, I like normally I stop at this point for demos. And according to you, this is just when the game is actually starting. <laughs> so this is 100% a game. It's an unfinished game is what it is. It's not a demo. You want to make a demo, make a demo. Like that prologue, there's your demo. Boom, ended. We're done. But I, I have always been a proponent of shorter is better for demos. Just enough to, to whet the appetite. But this is 100% an unfinished game, and that's okay. I mean, you can however long you want. But also, I wouldn't put the title screen two hours into the game. I mean, what, what was the point of that? It felt kind of out of place. I'm going to be continuing on. So I did say I would play it for the length tonight. I don't know if we'll continue it beyond that, but... It's not like, on Coast Marker C. I see it too. It's becoming clear. I see it. It looks kind of like a person. Person? Did you say a person? Yes, Captain. I confirm it is indeed a person. What should we do? All things to find. All right. Kazakh, steer towards the platform. Actually, raise the sails. Tammy, signal to the lookout. Ricky, get ready to haul him up. Everyone, go. Someone. I can't believe the luck of the purple pirates. Time to have some fun. Oh no, they're gonna put his bussy to work. The next day. I'm alive. Where am I? Hey, you're awake. Glad to see that. You were in pretty bad shape when we found you on that platform. But you seem pretty okay now. How do you feel? Oh, I should introduce introduce myself. My name is Davy, and I'm what you would call the captain. Captain of what, you may ask? Only the bravest, bestest, most excited people ever, the Purple Pirates. You just call me Davy. Please say something, Sivvy. Please say, please, I beg of you. My name is Rover. Um, Davy, can you tell me where we are? <laughs> Rover, that's a nice name. I'm sure you have a lot of questions, a lot of them. I'll answer them soon. I guess I can answer your first one right now. You're in Ahoy Coast. Don't get mad at me, <laughs> Sivvy. I'm the one who said bussy, so... Now, I know you have several other questions, and I'll answer them. I have a bunch of questions myself, but I want you to, to, you to get acquainted with the place first. Always let's see you chat with each of us. Easy! No! Sivvy, no! Okay. 
Yes, he's out of the hallway. Tammy's like in the study chamber. Roxy's in the weapon room where he's on the pier. At least Ashley probably wandering outside to the right. I promise to answer all your questions, at least the ones I know of. Ha. Huh. Could also leave and never come back, but we did save your life. Seems fair to stay. I, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Okay, so we gotta talk to everybody. Hey, you're the guy the captain rescue, right? I heard all about you. Well, actually, I just heard you were resting. But that's all anyone knew. So I guess it was all about you then. I was on the ship when they found you, but I saw them do it from the lookout. That's good enough, right? Anyway, I'm Roxy. It's nice to meet you. Uh, what's... Wait, what's your name? Nice to meet you, Roxy. I'm Rover. Davey told me to introduce myself to everyone, so here I am. So, nice. Yeah, exactly. That, that's... Everyone likes it here because of that. Ugh. Well, that was a great introduction. It's nice to meet you as well. Rover, got any questions about anything, just come ask me. Or, well, anyone, really. We're all here to help. That's what we do. So, I hate paper straws so much. Like, so friggin' much. They always tend to, like, disintegrate a little bit and get soft and you never, yeah. I trust you, I trust you too. Okay, that's one person. Yeah, I get, they get soggy and it's just, it's, it's annoying to drink with them after a while. Exactly, I hate it. Don't use straws. What, what kind of what kind of person do you think I am? It's free fiber, Kia. Oh, there you go. That's good. right. My name is Cassie. I'm with the ship right for this ship for this place. I'm sure to make sure the ship works and we travel around safely. Oh yeah, I should mention I'm also Davy's brother. I'm glad you're okay. Or oh yeah, I've never got your name. Nice to meet Cassie. Thanks for saving me, but I hope I didn't cause too much trouble for you all. No, that's, I won't lie, that Cavalier got a little beat up getting close to the platform. The Cavalier. But it's not the end won't be able to fix it in a jiffy. What's more important is that you're safe. Life can't be restored. You're right. Drinking the others, as long as they're alive, I can still find them. That's what I need to focus on. It doesn't matter where they are, as long as they are out there, I'll find them. But you should keep swimming around. If you need me, I'll usually be here, close to the ship. Thanks, Cassick. I'll stop by if I need anything. Bum, 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 bum. For straws instead. But I, I like the uh, de, bi, is that the the biodegradable plastic you're talking about? I like that. It, it feels like regular plastic, and it breaks down after a couple of days. This guy was safe from out on sea yesterday. It's good to see you're awake and walking about. Oh, the nurse. Oh, I'm the nurse here, so I made sure you were good, taken good care of. You the one save me? Thank you, actually. I'm Rover. It's nice to meet you. Hey, don't mention it, Rover. I'm just doing what purple pirates do. Yeah. Help those in need. That's, I, I, I don't. I don't think they got the memo on what pirates actually do. What was? I don't think I, I, was, I, don't think I feel a thank you is enough, but it's all I can offer. Whoops! I had entered too soon. However, that's what we do. If we're not helping others, then why are we even here, right? We do it because people need help. We don't do it for rewards or anything. That's not what we're about. Then why did you pick pirates? Yeah, get it. Still, thank you for everything. Hey there, I'm Tammy. It's really good to see you up and about. I was kind of worried when I saw you yesterday. You look so pale and malnourished. Now you look just look pale, so that's good. Just drink another drink to wash it. Oh my god. Um, yes, but they were also still pirates. <laughs> like, just because they moonlit as mercenaries doesn't mean they weren't also pirates. <laughs> I feel like they should be stealing things. <laughs> Ew, Kia! I don't trust them. 
I don't know if I trust them either. Illy, thank you so much for that raid. I appreciate it. Welcome, raiders. How are you doing? Can I get a shout out for Illy, please? Oh, God, Mary, no. Good time I keep looking. I'm glad I did. Nice to meet you, too. Thanks for spotting me as well. I don't remember much, but I do remember feeling like it was the end. I don't think it was going to last much longer there. Hey, no thanks required. Besides, I didn't really do much aside from point you out. Yeah, the others thank for actually getting you off that place. Ashley's the one who healed you. Free cold foam. Did anybody do a shout out for Illy Beans? Oh my god. There. There's your shout out. Oh, thanks to all of you. Okay. Nobody's here in the conference room. Was that everybody? He's out on the pier. Okay, Ricky, I haven't talked to Ricky yet. Ricky, no! Oh, hi, I'm Ricky. I just joined the Purple Pirates recently. Hi, Ricky, I'm Rover. It's nice to meet you. Thanks for your help yesterday. Yeah, you're welcome. Well, bye. Okay, fuck you too, Ricky. <laughs> oh yeah, pirates are not like you think. There, there are cutthroat people that that rob from ships. Yes, mostly container ships, sometimes cruise ships, and they're just basically just same as anybody stealing anything. I give a fuck about pirate history. I think it's kind of interesting and cool. It's going well. I think I spoke with everyone. Today, Alan? Yeah. But here, I apologize for making you go around like that, but I figured it would be nice to meet everyone here. We're all friends here, and I didn't want to isolate you from our little group. So thanks for going along with my little task. I'm sure you're just confused as to what's going on, as I am with you. So let's take a bit to get just chat. Go on, take a seat. So in your first message to the girl, you said... I think it's best we just start with the established facts. My name is Davey, and I'm captain of the Pearl Pirates here in the Ahoy, in Ahoy Coast. I believe all I know is your name. Where are you from? I'm from Chill River. Chill River, huh? Can't say I've ever heard of it. Tell me, Robert, how'd you end up here on the sea platform? Honestly, I don't think you'd believe me if I told you. I'm not even sure myself how I ended up here. By the way, shouldn't I be allowed to ask you some questions as well? Haha, <laughs> yeah, you're right, Robert. My apologies. Please ask me whatever you like, and I will answer to the best of my ability. But afterwards, you have to answer my questions. Sound good? Sounds good to me, yes. Uh, purple Pirates. So you're the captain of the Purple Pirates, but what exactly is that? Who are they? Hmm. That's a great question. Purple Pirates consists of everyone you met today. Kazakh, Demi, Roxy, Ricky, and Ashley. And myself. That's it. Entire Purple Pirates. I guess pirates isn't the best word. We're more like adventurers, really. We travel around to different places and explore. We see what they have, open up treasures, and overall just have a good time. That's really the whole the entire point of the Purple Pirates. To have fun. That and help others. And the orgies. As I made it our goal to help you once we found you. Helping others is priority number one. Next is orgies. Someone needs help, we help. Simple as that. And when we aren't helping others, we're off exploring and preparing to explore. It might sound repetitive, but it's not. Every day is different. I don't really know what else to say. That's all we are. All that we are. We are simple, but that's how we like it. Wait, meow. I mean, if you're gonna do that, you may as well. No. So we're basically just one big family. These marks on our face and headbands unify us. So you just like exploring, helping others. That sounds noble. Seems like I lucked out by being near you guys. Ahoy Coast. You said we were in Ahoy Coast, but that doesn't really mean much to me. Can you tell me more of this place? I never heard of anything outside of Chill River. Wrath. I love it too. Oh, tell me how for eat green. It's their game, so they can they can say whatever they want. Meow wants orgies, they get orgies. I can't play it on stream, but you know, now it's canon. <laughs> now it's canon that the purple pirates have a celebratory orgy after each adventure. I don't know actually. We're gonna find out though. So if you're from, it makes sense. You've never heard of this place. Anyway, this is a Hoi Coast, as you know. It's a warm beach area, perfect for us. It's a pretty small place and only has the town of Ahoy on it. 
Let's go back to the much larger Plum Plains. Just travel north, you'll be there in no time. Plum Plains is much bigger with the towns of Telus and Tulum there. Two areas are connected by land, making it easy to traverse. I know of some places, though. Uh, some more places. Sivy! <laughs> We're all heathens and going to hell. Patience. I'm still getting to calculate everything, calculate everything, so I won't down you in details. But I know of at least two more places. To get them, though, you need a ship to travel to the sea. Our fly means death demastered! <laughs> I'm confident there's more out there in the world, <laughs> but our ship can't get us ever. I need to watch that show. It's on Amazon, right? Because that, that, this world's a big place. There's more out there than, you, than I think you know of. Of course, for you, you've met the, someone who has spent his life trying to map the whole world. I can tell you what I know, but once you get more accustomed to everything. Oh, it's big, much bigger than I thought. I'm both the Chill River and the Hoi Coast are just small pieces of a bigger hole. There's a lot of more I have to learn. Go ahead, clean up. I see what for. What can you tell me about it? Oh, yes, the Cavalier is a beauty, isn't she? Cassic made her from scratch, believe it or not. She's basically his child. Haha, <laughs> really. She's all of our family. The Purple Pirates are nothing without her. Florida. Oh, God. Got it on the first try. A lot of the ships make it possible to go to other places. You know, we go to places we can explore them to our heart's content. I know what you're thinking. You want to know if we can take you back to your home, right? There's two issues. One, I don't know where your home is. It'll take me a little bit of time to locate it. Two, the Cavalier is in a bit of bad shape right now. It got a bit damaged yesterday. I promise that once those two issues are resolved, I'll do my best to get you home. That's what the Purple Pirates do. We help others in need, and you are in need. Seems like a ship is vital to have. Thank you for everything you've done, Davy. No more questions. What do you want to ask me? All right, first things first. I want to know how you ended up on the platform of the sea. I don't care how unbelievable it sounds. I've heard and seen many weird things. Trust me. I'll believe you. Okay, back in Chill River, me and my other friends encountered a small group of people by a stone structure they called a monument. It lit up and the place started shaking. Then the strange people just vanished like they teleported away. Not long after that, I was teleported away as well and assume all my friends were as well. I ended up on that platform. Hmm, you told me that you just popped from one place to another in an instant? Ha <laughs> ha! That made traveling much easier. Sorry to hear about your friends, though. I'm guessing you don't know where they ended up. Hopefully they met up with some nice folks as well. That brings me to my next question. What is your hometown like? I don't know about it. Oh, some is alligators. God. It's really cold. It snows all the time. It's very weird being here due to the temperature. We usually spend our days at school learning how to battle monsters and fight effectively. Fighting? So you know how to battle monsters then. Not to be disrespectful, but you don't seem like someone who knows about handling a weapon. What do you wield? I use an axe myself. He was Isekai. They don't use magic. Habits use arms, which are gloves that enhance their punching skill. I don't have those personally, and it's not really a weapon, but I have a tome that allows me to cast the elements to battle monsters. I'm sorry, can you say the last part once more, one more time? I use the elements to battle. They were sent back in time! Is it power to cast skills of the four elements? You know them, don't you? Fire, ice, water, and lightning? I can only do fire with my tome, though. Yes, honey, not what? I know them, yes. You're being serious, yes? You're not just fibbing, are you? You told me you can use the elements. Do you mind showing me? It's just I I need to see it. Um, depends. When is it? Like, when, when do you need judging by and how many games would it be? DM me. DM me some details. We could, we could hash it out and see if it's something I can do. Uh, yeah, I can show you. Look over there. I'll do a quick blast with my fire element. Flame! That's the fire element. The one I know is best. I don't have the tones for the others, but I could probably use them if I had if I had them. Davy, is something wrong? Now is where we're sold. You you actually used it. You wanna use one of the elements. I I don't believe my eyes. I never thought this was possible. What what is this Chill River place? I I don't know what to say. I don't understand. It's not really that special to be using the elements. I guess Drake and the other armor spiders don't, but they can easily, easily learn them. I guess they were never taught to use them? You're telling me everyone from your home can use the elements? Rover, I wouldn't believe you if you hadn't just shown me. I have to ask. Do you do you know anything about the world? I spent my entire life in Chill River. All I know is what's around there and what I was taught in my classes. This is my first time seeing anything else. Everything is new to me. Have you ever seen a grown man naked? <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Things are a bit different here. I'm not sure about your home, but over here, we're all taught only monsters could use the elements. 
We're told it's impossible for humans to use the elements. That's how we were raised. That's how it's always been. Humans using the elements has always been a myth. Seeing you use them. It's like a legend come true. I thought I knew a lot about the world. I traveled and traveled and thought I knew so much. But it appears I still know so little. I believe you must feel the same. So, or, so either, I don't know, we were transported somewhere. Either Chill River is some weird experiment or... I do. Humans are the ones who created the elements. I don't understand why you wouldn't have been told why you would have been told you couldn't use them. It just doesn't add up. I'm sure there's some reasoning. You might be right, but I don't think it changes anything. You're here now and you're with and you're with friends. And that brings me to my last question. Tomorrow, a few of us are going to explore a nearby cave. Oh, is that it? No, that can't be it. <laughs> Who knows? Great to have you along for your inaugural journey. So what do you say? Will you join us tomorrow for the trip? I hope you do. I hope Meow Sticks knows. Right now, all I want to do is find my friends who teleported away. But that being said, I will join you. It's possible some of them end up nearby, so there's a chance they're there. I have to look. Great. Whatever your reasoning, we're just glad to have you along. I know it's still early, but you should get some rest. Orders directly from Ashley. Uh, since you're coming tomorrow, it's for the best. You're probably right. I'm feeling a bit tired just from walking around the place. Um, Davey? Thank you. Hey, you're welcome, Rover. There's no need. You're needed help, so we're here to help. I know you would want to find your friends, but don't forget, you've got all of us right here. I get some sleep. Hey, I'm not really sure how to tell you this, but Rover, he's special. He can use the elements. I saw him. Don't treat him any different, okay? For of his skills, he's still Rover. Got it? He's one of us. We're gonna sell him for so much money. He is Ashton. Am I really special? I was nobody back home. Nothing different. Now I can do things nobody else can. I shouldn't worry about it. My goal is to find my friends. I should focus on that. I will keep my promise. Current goal updated. No, it's the place to David. It's smart to meet up with him before heading off. Guess we know where he is at the moment. Okay. Let's find David. I will say, I'm intrigued by this game. But this isn't a demo. We're all set to leave, except we still need David here. I think he's in the treasure room right now. Waiting for you. So he wanted to show you something. It's on the right. He says it. By the way, how's the ship? Is it alright to set sail after such a, to sail after such such a, such a short time? I actually got a little wrapped up by the problem, but I fixed her up enough to sail the shallows near the shore. That's why we're heading today. It's the only place we can reach. Oh, a little bit of Too late to rename it not demo. Yeah, that's enough. This game has a shit ton of talking. It's basically a visual novel with an RPG tacked on, is what this is. And that's how it mark how I would market it, 100 percent Because there's a lot of talking in this game. Rover, I'm glad to see you up and about. You're looking healthy and ready to go. Where does this sale though? Is there something I'm there's something I want to teach you? Have you heard of treasure chests? No, I've never heard of them. I guess that's another thing that's new to me. Kia! Hey, that's right. I mostly ever found them in caves and other monster-filled locations, so I suppose they aren't everywhere. Anyway, I'm here to tell you all about them. How do I put this simply? Treasure chests are chests that contain treasure. I love chests. If I would just open it up and reap the rewards that await within. It's that simple. Spicy man, Kia! Many of different kinds of treasure chests I've seen throughout my years. So I took the liberty of stuffing a few, few of them with goodies and giving you the honor of opening them up. Basically, if you see a treasure chest, you want to open it up. So I'll let you get to that. So you can experience firsthand how good it feels to get your hands on whatever was inside. Oh, I almost forgot. Treasures don't always come in a chest. There is these things I've called hidden items. There's a single hidden item in this room. You can find it, I'll tell you the secret. With that, I'll let you get to opening. Standard potion. It's called a wooden chest. In my experience, these chests will always get a small, normal, a normal item or two, and not much else. Helpful, but not, but far from the best. I just don't work on. It's the tones for the other elements. With these, I can finally start to use the elements besides fire. Besides fire, I can even use their effects outside of battle. Nice. Ha, I bet you're wondering where those came from, huh? Well, first things first. This is a red chest, my personal favorites. Opening one will give you a new weapon or even an upgrade card. As for the tomes, I found them once while exploring. I didn't understand a single word inside of them, but they looked important. So I kept them safe and sound. They sat in here for a while. 
That's why I saw your book, and it reminded me of all these. They look extremely similar, so I'm assuming you can use them. They're yours now, Rover. Not like I can use them anyway. Five hundred coins. Got green chest. You know, let's find nothing but pure coins. If you're trying to find a monster chest, best to open one of these. Or monster for coins. Five standard potions. I don't know, like, care package. Oh, check out what I call it. Care package. Very so plenty of them are sealed. Best to open it. Lucky Lucky was found. Handy to yell chest. Would you open one of these? I'll just find a help. very helpful accessory. Better open them all. What a shield. If he's armor, you do know about armor, right? Either way, it's very helpful. Hey, there's something in here? Hey, there we go. Hey, good job! You found a hidden item. Oh, you found it. I'll eat on the secret. I said there are four barrels there, and only a single one of them is different from the rest. Spicy nipples. Yes, the spiciest of nipples. I need to search for what sounds out the most. In this case, one of these barrels is broken. Well, the other three weren't. That's your cue to search there. That must be a vigil cue. Okay. Shine sphere. Yeah, I won't find anyone else. Open them, basically. You can't seem to head out. Okay, so... So, what happens when I equip the different tomes? Do I have to equip them to use that ability? Or do I already know these abilities? No, I have to equip them to learn. Okay. And can you change your equipment mid... Um, Mid-fight? Okay. Okay, you can't. Okay, that's good at least. What was that? Science sphere. Somewhere in the world. So, here's the details. Post the camera a special quest. Rover? Special guest rover. The cavalry slide down, we only sell the shell. That's all we need. Just to the east. Kind of a hoy. Rubber. So I guess I'll leave it up to you. Um, Alright, I don't even know where a hoy is. It's kind of just north of our home. I don't know if you want, Arrow Island. So yes, make your decision carefully. Alright, I'll do my best. 120 coins. Um, I think we'll be okay. Oh shit, yeah, I think we'll be fine since. Davy and Cassick are... Okay, yeah, I think we'll be fine. I guess we'll stay here and help with the ship whilst we work on our repairs. The rest of us going to explore the coastal cavern. Let's go! Alright, dungeon time. Spider! I know about stats. Yeah. Because I'm guessing it's going to. Oh, that's not good. Okay, nice. Alright, so I'm guessing it's going to. Hot arrow. <laughs> Pirate skills. I have none. Yeah, Davey's just gonna fucking murder everything. Oh, a weird jellyfish. Yeah, I burn. No, yeah, I think we'll be okay. Yeah. <laughs> Davy is just gonna carry this group. 
switch elements during battle. Cool. Oh, nice. You can use... Okay, so you can... That's a good thing to know. You can combine your elements. Okay. Ah, oh, damn it. He just left us. Yeah, that's pretty normal for Captain. He's long gone by now. He says it's probably the left half. Come on, let's go. This should be fun. Ah! Uh, no! <laughs> Damn it! That makes me sad. There goes the powerhouse. The powerhouse of the cell. Captain Mitochondria. Um, we'll be fine. This isn't exactly difficult by any means. I want to try and save my SP for when I need it. <laughs> oh, Sivvy. <laughs> no. That was pretty horrifying. I don't want to fight anymore. Yeah, that looks scary. It's pretty easy to beat. Just watch out for that nasty poison status they can put on. Spider monsters. Do, do, do. Oh, more chests. Yeah! Oh, jelly. Oh, oh, excuse me. I did not do as much. I was actually. I, did, I actually really liked Parasite Eve. I didn't really play this play a whole lot of it and I like I barely touched the sequel so but I actually I found it to be a very interesting game it's something I'd probably stream one of these days if people really want to watch me do it where the hell are we oh <laughs> Fashionable hat. Nice. Oh no. Now we got two things to worry about. Damn it. I'm the mod. <laughs> Man, she can't hit for shit. Oh, now they hit. Oh, my God. Oh, I got stronger. Way to go, Ricky. You're strong. I like that the screen gets brighter for each torch you light. That's a nice touch. We're getting a ton of items anyway, so I think we're doing okay. Stings. Yeah, I think it's from the electrical charge telephone watches out. It's a little worrying seeing them seeing them so much here around here. Pretty normal here. 
a day before I teleported. My professor told me that the time jellyfish is much older, it's got the best of her. Seeing there's such numbers makes me a bit nervous. Just go using your lightning. Just don't go using your lightning element, it will be fine. Yeah, I prefer on map enemies a lot. Like big time. Damn it. How are you gonna dodge the fucking magic? Uh, we can find out in a second. And Queen, oh my god. You thirsty, thirsty bitch. How you doing? Good hit. Cave jellyfish are very nimble, yeah. Sivvy! Oh my god, stop missing. Somebody kill it. Jesus, okay. Alright, see, we should be able to see. Roxy is 20. Where's Ricky? Ricky is 21. <laughs> Everyone's got a type. Mine is leggy brunettes. Oh God. <laughs> Good, we weren't, we weren't stuck. Bayonetta, my type is Bayonetta. Queen! Oh my god. Oh shit. I have not been paying enough attention. Life drain. How many legs exactly? <laughs> no, my eye candy. Oh my god. Why is everyone so ridiculously thirsty all of a sudden? Oh shit, there was a chest I missed. Oh wait, no, I can't get to it. Because reasons. Oh, oh. Oh, um, Shadow Mordor, the, oh, right, the spider lady can turn into, ooh. Mm. <laughs> Drider with large boob. <laughs> Sivvy, oh my god. Dude, you need sleep. Oh, friendship. Right here, let me, uh. Shelob, thank you. I, I don't know the names, but yeah, Shelob. I don't know about centipede legs. That's too many legs. That's a little too many legs. A little, 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 little bit too much. A little bit too much. There is Quilog. Yep. I swear to God, Queen, no. Okay, I said centipede was too many. Why would a millipede be any better? No more than eight. My max is eight, because then you get a spider lady. I don't want anything more than a spider lady. Sorry, that's just, that's just, 
That's my way. Why? Why do you hate? I, apparently, it's a thing. That made me really interested in Lord of the Rings, okay? I think it's a good thing. Gets people more interested in the games and stuff. Go with seven legs! God. Two standard potions. Mm -mm -mm. Alright. Friend conversation number three. So much fun. Three of us on our own adventure facing lots of scary monsters and uncovering a ton of hidden treasure. I love going on these trips. I feel so alive. Hey, like Burnett, it's fine. Yeah, but... An actual spider isn't that sexy. No, they have to have... Sax. Egg sax. She eats him then, oh, <laughs> queen. <laughs> mm. I should probably stop talking. I love anything you guys that leave you alone in a dangerous place like this. From what I've seen, he seems like a great leader. Y'all seem to respect him so much. I'm sorry, meow, uh huh. Spider that plays music. <laughs> it's the sax, ma'am! No, no, queen, no! No! Okay, time for a break. That was good, he saved me from home. Yeah, Kevin Davies helped us all at some point or another with our lives, because he already saved us once. In the trouble, I know we'll be fine because Captain is here. Yeah, he saves me a lot. I get what you're saying. Back in my home, I always had to go explore a dangerous place. Our way through the place. I'm afraid the, I was afraid the entire time. Even though I feel like I knew I was safe, I knew that they wouldn't let anything bad happen to us. I trusted them. I trusted them that all this would be safe. I think that's how you feel about Davy. It's okay, I am too. <laughs> Not a saying a goddamn word. It's all about trust. That's why I know we just need to continue on. We have to trust us to get to the end ourselves, and we have to trust this. Trust him to save us if we need help. Trust him. I'm in a new place now. Sephora, Joe, Drake. None of them are going to be able to... <laughs> anyway. Big old sacks of nuts. Mmm. -hmm. I'm supposed to look a bit differently. Maybe something will happen if we put the fire out? Wait, which one's flickering differently? I think it's this one. Ha! I was right. Oh no! No, not me! I'm not the one that likes the sex! No! No, I was, I was taken out of context! That was loud. That seemed louder than normal. Rats, blue flame. Monsters, no. <laughs> no, I'm good. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> God. are so default I think so yes pretty sure it is
200 bucks. All right. Is there a reason to do this? Let's find out. Oh, God, this was a mistake. Okay, just to grind, which I think I'm okay. Uh. Why does she keep missing? Like, is her accuracy rate just shit or something? This holy fuck, man. It's annoying. You all, you all need to go to horny jail tonight, I swear to god. Oh no, Ricky's gonna die. Ricky, no! Oh shit. Like, I am really sick of the miss rates. Like, that's actually kind of annoying. You can use them all at a power level. Oh, excuse me. Seven years? Good lord. Captain, down here! Hey, you guys, glad to see you the past made up. I'm gonna go on ahead and meet up with you soon. Good luck, Captain. Hey, thanks, Roxy. Good luck to you three as well. Here, take this. I just found it right here. I'm sure you can help. I'm sure it can help you out. Hey, see you soon, Captain. Oh, God. Captain, you dumb fuck. Alright, let's go. The path. Here be it. Let's go. Hot arrow. Miss. Seriously? Oh, uh, get some fire. Let's try some lightning on it. Oh good, it doesn't eat up your turn. Yes. I like that. Holy fuck, what? Was the poison? Was it? What the fuck hit him for 500? Something I did must have done it. I'll take it. That's 32. I know that fire is 31, right? Nope, also 32. God damn it. Oh god. Yeah. Damn. I agree with that, Oro. He says, Ricky, this is f this was for you. Does Ricky die? And was that like a <laughs> Stop us from veterans. We had to get past it. Yeah, it's very powerful, everyone. Yes. I done did it. Mm hmm. Yes. Oh. Captain, miss anything? Nope. 
Yeah, whatever. Down to the end. Hope you three had a good adventure. I know I sure did. Yeah, finally started during my exploring. You can have them, don't worry. On his side of the coastal cavern. Let's get out of here. It's getting pretty late and Cassie is still out working on the Cavalier. The ladder should take us right outside. Yep. Nice. Just a few more days to fully finish her up. Let's head back to the house for a night, though, and get some rest. Yes, return to the Purple Pirate House. The PPH. The PP. We have an issue. Sigma hasn't contacted us since we sent him to Plum Plains to investigate the monument. I'm reluctant to say this, but we need someone to do recall on him. You made a good choice choosing me and Q to go investigate. I'll find him and bring him here. Oh, and we'll also kill any pathetic fool that attempts to get in our way. <laughs> Just as I thought. Sigma's room is completely untapped with. Nobody's come in or out, which means something happened to him. You think he was killed over there? There's no way that idiot got killed. Ha <laughs> ha. He may be stupid, arrogant. He may be a stupid, arrogant, smart ass idiot, but he's not weak. Nah, probably just some dumbass idiot holding him hostage for safety or whatever. Bleh. As much as I disdain both of you and your opinion, I'm inclined to agree. Though I will state it less crudely. It's likely Sigma has been compromised by some force outside his control. I'm glad you got me. No puny humans will stand in the way of Q. Ha 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 ha. I can't wait to see the blood. It'll be wonderful. Probably the best day of my life. Well, I don't agree with your methods. I do believe you are the best suited to getting Sigma back here in one piece. Don't let us down. You're already on thin ice. Don't step too hard. Have I ever let you guys down? Like, ever? Yeah, I didn't think so. I'll bring that idiot back alive, and I better get some reward for it, too. I ain't doing this garbage for free, you know. Is he spinning his hair? Your reward is simply not being... Is simply being allowed to continue working with us. The more... That's more than a pathetic whelp like yourself even deserves. Just be understood to go as soon as po Just be prepared to go as soon as possible. Understood? Ugh, whatever. I'll just be glad to get two seconds away from you, stupid idiots. gonna fight Q. Oh, Roxy's come for a little, uh, morning delight. Hello, good morning, Rover. Catherine wants us to go to the conference room, like, right away. That means both of us. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Rover, oh, there you are. Come join us at the table. We have some things to discuss. Pretty sure I already know the answer to this question, so I'm just gonna be blunt and ask it. Rover, do you want to join the Purple Pirates? I thank you for the offer, David, but I have to decline. Right now my priority is finding my friends. I need to be searching for them and not planning adventures. I hope you understand. I fear it as much. You're a good man, Rover, and that's why I plan for your response. Roxy, do you want to tell him? Yes, Captain! Roxy Rodriguez, official archer of the Purple Pirates, reporting for duty. Here to assist the Rover in any way. With my status skills, I can bring down even the toughest enemy. I won't let you down. Oh, he just, he just gave us her. I'm confused. I'm coming with you, Rover. I mean, if that's okay, of course. If you say no, that's fine too, but I'd be sad and probably cry for a few days. You're gonna need help finding your friends, Rover. Roxy here volunteered to help you in your search. If you accept, she'll come with you and help with your friends. <laughs> Shut up, Are you sure? I don't want to take you away from what you love doing here. The number one rule of the Purple Powers is to help others. You need help, Rover, so I'm going to help you. It's what we do best. I see. Well, then I guess I can't really say no. I'm sure I'll, I'll need the help. Thank you for coming with me, Roxy. I was doing the right thing. Let's settle then. Roxy, you are to help Rover in any way you can in finding his friends. As a direct order from your captain, so don't let me down. I know you can do it. I won't, Captain. Rover's gonna find his friends, I swear, but, uh, where should we start? Hmm. I think it's safe to say your friends aren't here in Ahoy Coast. I guess that means you should head up north to Plum Plains. Check out Telus for any signs. That's a great plan, Captain. Well then, Rover, I'm ready whenever you are. Thank you, Roxy. With, some with someone else until I feel more confident about finding my friends. Let's go. Oh. Roxy has officially joined the party. Had to tell us to search for any clues of to the other's whereabouts. All right, we're headed north with Roxy. Foxy, Roxy. <laughs> Over here, take care of our Roxy. Take care of her. Okay, Roxy's tough, but she can be a bit careless. Make sure she's okay. Hey, what do you mean? I'll make sure she's safe. It's the least I can do to repair her for helping me. Right here. Finally fix up the Cavalier, which means I'll we'll be taking her out on another trip soon. Maybe trust you to take care of each other while we're gone. You're gonna go with- you're going without me? Right, so, you'll be in your own adventure. Don't forget that. We'll be sure to bring you back a trinket. Just promise to bring us back something as well. Of course, anything cool I find is coming right back here for everyone to share. 
Glad to hear it. I hope you find your friends, Rover. I'll be rooting for you while we're away. Thank you, Kassik. That means a lot to me. Alright, let's just get the fuck out of here. Oh, wait. Can I do the friend thing now? I can! By Roxy Jonah. Roxy and Rover. First friend conversation. Oh, thank you again for joining me on my quest, Roxy. It's very reassuring to know I'll have someone I can trust on this journey. Don't mention it, Rover. I joined because that's what we do as purple pirates. Captain and Kassik, Ricky, Tammy, and Ashley. They're like family to me, and I respect them so much. Captain's number one rule is that we have to do our best to help others. So I'm just doing what I can, re can to respect Captain's rules. It's the least I can do after, everyone, after everything he's done for me. So I'm not just joining you to help you, but I'm doing it because that's what I was taught to do. Also to do whatever I can to repay Captain. It's great because it helps me out many people. I can tell you really respect Davy and everyone else in the Purple Pirates. It kind of reminds me of my relationship with my professor. She taught me so much, and I just want to make her proud. That's why I had to find my friends. That, and I made a promise to someone. I told her I would come back safe with our best friend. I can't break that promise. I won't let her down. Crack is stops. Oh, a promise. And now it's extra important that I do everything I can to help you find your friends and get home safe. Don't worry, Robert. I'm beside you 100%, whatever happens. Thank you, Roxy. I can't offer you much in return, but I will do what I can to help you out with anything you need. I'm making that a promise as well. I'll be here to help you too. You have a great adventure, Rover. I can already tell. So let's stop waiting here around here and actually get going on it. Let's see, let's increase by seven. Or let's skill increase by five. Nice. Don't leave, but I guess you have to. You decided you're gonna help Rover. Uh, so do leave. Same part with same with I do. I miss you, Ashley. I can like, I can't help you, Rover. Okay, you're one of the curse of my answer in case it could hurt. Please stay. Oh, cool. Center potion. Yeah, there's, a, there's a lot. I'm sorry. Ah! There's a lot of talking. Okay. So that's the first three hours of the game. So far, I like it. Not a demo. No, I'm not calling this a demo, though. I know I put it as demo because that's what you marked it. I, this is not, no, this is an unfinished game. This is early access, is what this would be considered. 100%. This, this is, this is way long, even for a demo standards. But I'm, I'm, I'm digging it. I mean, it, it's got, I guess, Town of Ahoy, we don't care about that. We want to tell us. Ahoy Oasis. Sup? Is there anything has to do with water? But I can't confirm it. Is it normal water to me? It's just normal water. I don't think it's anything is weird. So, I'm sure of it. Where does water come from? How does the circuit around here? It's a mystery. Uh, so to cover the secrets here. It's dangerous. Is there any hurry to discover secrets about this place? I'll figure it out, will I? That's why it's so important. Let's get back to my research. Sorry. That may become important later on. Yeah, it's got chutzpah. Yeah, definitely. I do think it, it, um, there's some, there's some more. I mean, I was not expecting a visual novel type game. That's for sure. Tell us gate. Okay. So we can save here. We'll save here. And then I don't know if we'll be coming back to this or not, to be perfectly honest, but yeah. Okay. I was actually going to get to that Oro. Um, I find that a lot of the dialogue is very repetitive, like characters repeating characters, repeating what they were just told especially in the tutorial sections um i like that you give like you give the uh extra items that explain things but you don't have to be you don't have to do such hand like the first part felt like my first rpg it felt a lot like that but at the same time it didn't really it was like half hand holding half not half the time it was like it didn't really wasn't sure if it wanted to be a full-on tutorial or just throw you into the deep end and just be okay get okay go play so yeah, I, I think the writing could, could be shored up a bit. I don't mind this a visual novel type game. I would definitely market it like that. So, but I would definitely clean up the, the like, there are times where it feels overly wordy, you know? So, so I, I would go back and make, then if the later parts are better, I would go back and make sure the earlier parts match that, you know, level of quality. And that's kind of the problem with doing a game over several years like this especially when you're not doing it all like you don't have like the right it's not it's not the developer like the writing isn't all done you know you're still working on it i 
that's one of the major pratfalls of taking so long in development. I would definitely go over the dialogue again. Uh, but no, I, I'm enjoying it. I like when you. I want to. I want to wait for you to finish this before I continue playing it. To be perfectly honest, because I'm really enjoying it, but I don't know exactly when you're going to finish it and how much will change by that time. Um, but I enjoyed what I played. I definitely enjoyed what I played. You've got something good here. I, I say keep up with it and re really like hammer down to like try and you know finish it because I would like to to see how this goes. I really would, but I but my 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 two major things really clean up that dialogue big time, um, and the rep the the repetitiveness of it, and it, it can be a little wordy in some spots, and also I hate when characters miss in RPGs. Just a personal preference. I'm just putting that out there. Okay. Anyway, that's gonna be it, folks. Uh, untold story. Good work so far. I would definitely say good work so far, Roxy. I, I look forward... Or not Roxy, but uh, Meow Sticks. Uh, why did I say Roxy? <laughs> because Roxy's in the party. <laughs> God damn it. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how you... How you how you how how this all turns out. I'm intrigued. And I, I want to make sure that it's not problematic the fact that their parents are so young. I need to figure out what the hell's going on with that. That's that's a mystery I want to solve, okay? 